programming in C Sharp. Well, hopefully this set of tutorials will help it not be too much of a problem. We should get to grips with programming in C Sharp. Now, the interesting bit. Unlike what I've done before, I'm doing two sets of tutorials. One for somebody who's never pro well, not really programmed before, and one set for somebody who has programmed before, you know, in different languages. And for that type of person, I'll quickly go over concepts that they understand and they'll be able to learn the language a lot quicker. So the one that you listen to at the moment in time, this is for if you've never programmed before. So if that is the case, carry on listening. If not, you want to probably switch over to the other set of tutorials for if you've got programming experience. So Visual C Sharp 2008 is what I'm using. You can download this. It's a Microsoft product and it's free. If you download it after 30 days, you have to register it. But again, that's all free. So when you run it for the first time it will look something along the lines of this now because I've run it before I have recent projects whereas that will be blank for you so what we're going to do is we're going to get started with straight away and we're going to close the start page I'm going to create a new and you want Visual C Sharp and a Windows application and you not a Windows application sorry a console application and we'll call it tutorial one and I'm going to click OK and it will build like so now just to get to grips with the program what we have on the right hand side is the solution explorer and here on the left hand side this is our programming window now the solution explorer has as you will see here program.cs and that is this document here so I'm just going to quickly go through it at the top you will see user statements these user statements you don't really need to know much about not yet anyway they just allow us to ha they have pre-built commands that we can use without us having to which allow us to do more things but as I said we'll, we'll look more about using statements later on then we have our namespace as far as you need to know we only ever have one namespace in a project now that's not entirely true but we don't really need to go into that because most of the time you will never need to more than one namespace anyway so the namespace is pretty much the name of our program in this case tutorial one the class here it says class program well that's pretty straightforward this is our program that we're going to run and then here you will see static void main and it's got a string argument passed in through it and just to make things simple we're going to get rid of that so we have static void main and all you need to know is for now we'll expand on this later on but whenever we write any software or program we do it all in this main here for now later on you'll see about how you can do it in other areas but for now we just do it in this main so when I run this project by clicking on this play button here it runs any code in between these squiggly brackets here and here and of course because there's nothing there what happens is the program runs and then closes immediately so what we need to do is we need to look at some ways to do some basic th something for the program so we're going to look at two commands how to output on the screen and pause the display so firstly to output on the screen we use console.write like so open bracket and then here we use a speech mark and I'm just going to say welcome to C sharp close speech mark it close bracket or parentheses and it's a semicolon on the end next line in fact I'll just run it like this and you'll see what will happen if it appears on it it runs that line there which is console.write which will write to the screen and then when it gets to this end bracket it realizes the program's ended and it quits the program for you which means we, it flashes up so fast we can't see it so we need to pause it so to do that we're going to use console.read open bracket close bracket semicolon and if I run this it, you'll see it says welcome to C sharp and then you press the enter button and it will disappear and that are just the first two commands that we're looking at in this set of tutorials so hopefully you'll understand what we've covered so far and now we're going to in the next tutorial that is we're going to look at basic variables